the point is, is why I've been doing these for the last five years since I've been here is I'm trying to give you guys something to think about with regard to your golf swing. These are open forums. If you have a question, this is the place. I'll try to answer it the best I can, but I also want to try to expose you to my philosophy and the things that I've learned over the past 54 years of playing and teaching this game. I've had the good, good opportunity to be around the man that I think is the best teacher that I've ever seen, Bob Toskey. He's, uh, he's in every Hall of Fame you can think of. And just last week, there was another inductee to the uh, Teachers Hall of Fame up in Orlando at the PGA Merchandise Show. A fellow by the name of Seymour Dunn. Seymour Dunn wrote a book called Golf Fundamentals in 1924. It is without question probably the most comprehensive book on the golf swing I know that I've ever seen or read. One of the things that has always impressed me about that book, and I got an original copy, uh, got it back in 1967 at Ye Old Golf Shop in Cincinnati. There's a point in the beginning of that book that said the golf swing is an art. To master this art, it must first be reduced to a science. A theory should be evolved, which when you base it on facts and data gathered around sound geometric, physical, psychological, dynamic, and physical lines that can be proved to be correct in all cases. Now that's interesting right there. Can be proved to be correct in all cases. So in other words, if I tell you something how to hit a certain shot that doesn't follow the physics of the game and the way your body is built, then you better have some special talent to be able to do that. Well, I don't go there very often. Now, there's modifications to certain things. But if, if you do golf in a logical way based on the laws of physics, you have an opportunity to progress because golf, believe it or not, and we've talked about this many times in these clinics, is an intuitive, instinctive reaction to a ball and a target. The only difference between you and really good players is one thing. They have put the right muscles in charge before they ever took the club back. So when they make their intuitive, instinctive reaction to that ball and that target, guess what? it works for them. They don't think about it the way you do. They don't have 49 thoughts in a second and a half the way you do. And the reason for that is because they've allowed their muscles to do instinctively what they need to do. Now think about that. Your thoughts are ruining you for golf.